Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Don of AhmedDon.com. Today I'll have another episode of unboxing and brief review video and I'll be presenting a mini travel flashlight which is the Lumintop LED mini pocket flashlight. So we have this right here and this is an EDC or everyday carry flashlight and uh, let's uh, look at the box first and then I'll go through some specs and other features of the flashlight. So the packaging is fairly simple and if you needed to know the model number which is right here EDC01 and on this side of the box uh, just has some QC past sticker and basically that's all there's no features or anything so before I start opening the box let me just tell you some of the features and I actually I'll be using index cards to uh, make this review easy to understand and you can visualize the features so the flashlight has 120 lumens power or you know the power of light and it runs with the one AAA battery which should be included but we'll see and then uh, this is IPX8 waterproof rating and I'll talk about IPX8 uh, a little later and then uh, the body is made of aircraft grade, uh, grade aluminium and uh, this is very small as you can see 2.36 by uh, 0 0.57 inch so this is really small and uh, it has it's lesser than one or even half ounce it's 0 0.42 ounce and this is even 1.5 meter impact resistance and you can uh, uh, run this 36 hours with one battery I'll open the cover and we have looks like a keychain ring right here so I'll just uh, you know take these out and put them here one by one this is what uh, comes with the box so here's the flashlight and then we have a uh, keychain or key ring and then we have a lumen top uh, diffuser so I have a list over here as well and there is waterproof o-ring so which is uh, this one is a small manual so the lumen top uh, diffuser is supposed to glow at night or in the dark so I'm not sure where you put it it could be you put it on here or here but it should be in the manual so let's take a quick look so here's the part from the manual you can pause and take a look at it later on if you'd like so I'll just uh, set it aside first uh, let's talk about the waterproof uh, o-ring so I have a feeling that you know this should go in the middle of the flashlight to make it waterproof so I'll just take this out and put it here so as you can see this is a very light weight and very tiny flashlight and the way you can turn it on or off is just to roll it so let's see if there's a battery inside and okay so nothing is happening so I have a feeling that they didn't include any battery so I'm going to just put in a battery and then uh, the diffuser actually it glows in the dark so I have a feeling that you can put it in here and then you know it glows in the dark because if you put it in here then it's going to block the light so the natural place of this looks like the bottom of the flashlight and uh, the o-ring top the o-ring uh, waterproof uh, o-ring and the waterproof o-ring uh, this should be go this should go somewhere I have a feeling that right here so let me see if I can just put it in without opening the flashlight okay so it fits right there uh, if you can see it so right here it might be hard to see because of the black color but I believe that's where it sits but I don't see giving them any instructions for the o-ring and the key ring is very simple you have to just put it in right here hello everyone so I just uh, put in a battery and uh, the way it works you have to just twist it so you can see that you know it's uh, on and then if you just uh, you know keep twisting it 
then it's going to change the power of the uh, light so each twist uh, is going to change it to a separate uh, power so right now it looks like this is the small and this is the medium and sorry this is the okay this is the small and this is the big and this is the medium so it has three different outputs so surprisingly the uh, light is really strong and very good power and uh, you know this is supposed to be 120 lumen so which is not bad at all and I couldn't find anywhere in the manual where to uh, put the o-ring so I have a feeling that you know it should be uh, right here where I showed it before but uh, if it's somewhere else and you know it you can just leave a comment and about this uh, diffuser there's no instructions in the manual as well so I have a feeling that you know this is going to be uh, here like this uh, but you know the problem with this that if you put it here then the key there's no place for the key uh, key ring or keychain so they didn't clarify where they should be but uh, if you know where to put it just leave a comment in the comment below the IPS 8 waterproof rating so this is going to be 2 meter or 6.6 .6 foot submersible uh, it can go underwater and it can even uh, take uh, a minus 4 degree Fahrenheit to 131 degree Fahrenheit heat so which is going to be in terms of Celsius minus 20 to 55 degrees Celsius which is uh, which can be very extreme temperature so it looks like you know it has no problem with uh, cold or hot weather a little bit about uh, the LED power source so uh, this is Cree XP G3 LED so that looks like the type of uh, LED bulb uh, and then it has 100,000 hours so 11 years lifetime and it has three different modes which I showed you uh, low small or small medium uh, high and in terms of distance uh, the high uh, power can travel 37 meter and the medium is 18 meter and the small is 7 meters so not bad at all and this is a very uh, good looking and handy flashlight and it can work as a travel flashlight so I'll be taking this uh, on my trip and uh, they have actually I noticed that in the manual that they have a very good warranty although this is a very this is a very uh, exp inexpensive product but you know that warranty is really good 30 days free replacement five years repair warranty and then if anything happens after five year then you know they will even uh, have uh, they will have lifetime warranty so in terms of warranty it looks like you know they have provided very good warranty although I don't think you will be needing them because you know this is really uh, uh, cheap uh, so the price is uh, it can run from about uh, around 20 I'm sorry around 12 to 13 dollars Canadian uh, but possibly you can pick it up uh, if it's on sale even lower than that and uh, this is not an affiliated or paid review all my reviews are non affiliated unbiased and honest there's no affiliated links there's no nothing so overall I'm uh, happy with the product uh, I'm just not sure about these two uh, where they stand or how they work but I have a feeling that you know what I'm guessing is correct but if you know something more then definitely let me know and uh, leave a comment so that's all for today thank you for watching forget about subscribing this channel forget about liking this video uh, there will be more videos coming up, so I'll see you shortly.